Hey guys, this is John with For the Love of Gear Gear Reviews, and today we're going to do something um, a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the Shimoda Designs um, Action X30. Um, this is a, a, a photography oriented pack, um, but built with adventure in mind. Um, and coming from a place where I'm more of an adventure first. Um, photographer, videographer, uh, second, um, far second. Um, yeah, I have a, a unique perspective um, on this pack. And the few hikes that I've taken it on so far, um, it carries well. It carries just about all the gear that I'll need. Um, all the gear for summer that I need. Um, for winter, maybe not quite there, but I did go with the um, smaller pack they offer it in a 50 and 70 liter version as well um, 50 probably would have been more appropriate um, but anyway pack has back panel access as well as side panel access it has a top uh, top roll top closure that um, expands to give you a total 37 um, liters of capacity and then there's tons of different attachment points on here so on the front here you can get you know get a snowboard or you can put your you know put your tripod on here on either side you can get your skis and then they've also got in here, so there's two zips on these side pockets. The one main zipper opens up. There's a little mesh pocket in there. And then this secondary zipper, there is a um, water bottle holder or a tripod. And these are pretty, these are sizable. I find they work um, they work really well and they are easy to uh, access your bottle on the fly and so that's good that's something that I find that yeah some packs have a hard time with and then the side compression straps the lower ones have a, a much grippier it's like a TPU band versus the upper straps that are just um, just a nylon. On the front of the pack, you also find um, another large storage pocket that goes down good length of the pack, almost to the very bottom. You've got a rain cover for the pack in here. And the pack is mostly waterproof, um, but the, the zippers aren't completely. And just I don't know when you have, you know, expensive electronic equipment in your pack, you want to make sure you have an extra, you have a rain cover. Um, yeah, there's a stretch mesh pocket in here, and then there's also two smaller zippered pockets. Um, I would have liked to see the opening on this with the zipper come down another few inches um, just to make things a little bit easier to access in here but uh, not a not a big deal the shoulder straps um, are well padded and they are actually interchangeable so you can get different straps on there and there is uh, you can adjust the torso length on here because this is a one size fits all but there is a way to adjust for torso length which is great because I've had videos in the past where I really gripe about the one size fits all um, packs and how they just like they don't work um, so it's nice that this there is an adjustment for that here hip belts I find are are well padded oh also this front shoulder uh, the shoulder strap they have these really wide, um, wide and deep pockets. There's two of them here. So in this one here, I will put uh, my Garmin InReach. It's a little bit of a snug fit. 
And then on this one, actually, when you unzip it, it's got a bit of an accordion. And you can fit your phone in there, depending on what you have. It might not fit. Um, but I store my phone in one of these anyway. My cold case gear, West Slope case. And then they do also have an optional um, top loader unit, which can clip to the front shoulder strap system, or you can thread it through on the hip belt. Um, I'm carrying a mirrorless camera, um, sometimes a drone, and you know audio equipment, and then um, a gimbal. Uh, and so I definitely don't wind up with a ton of room in here so it's nice to have that so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the inside of this pack all right so you can set the pack down and the bottom is nice and burly pretty i'm not going to call it waterproof there's two drain holes that are in here um, which you can water can seep in not typically a problem, but just yeah, something to be aware of. The nice thing is this little core unit that they provide um, does have a zippered closure on there. So it helps small parts from falling out. And it's just another um, bit of weather protection. Yeah, so I believe this is the, the small mirrorless core unit that comes in here and yeah I mean so far no no complaints I would have liked some of these dividers to have pockets on them because I have lots of little wires that um that need to be kept organized and I'm not falling all over the place so that would have been nice but yeah and it does pop right on out it has a little little handle on it so you can carry it around um, I don't have any need or desire to do that, but yeah, and so here you can see in the inside of the main pack, here's this, the, so the top part of the pack kind of carries all the hiking and adventure gear, and the bottom of the pack is where all of the electronics go, and yeah, this is an expand, expandable storage, which is kind of nice. Um, there's a padded sleeve on the back here, and this can fit up to, I believe it's a 16 inch laptop. I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro that, that fits fine in there. Okay. So here's another, another look at the actual uh, core unit. And then you actually can, you can access the inside of this core unit um, from the outside of the pack. If you undo one of the side zippers, um, I I won't be accessing accessing it like that, um, but you can. Let's toss this back in there. The overall build quality definitely seems pretty good thus far. So one, one thing is <laughs> I uh, when I'm carrying my gimbal, I have been storing it kind of between the core unit and the expandable storage. So far that's worked fine. I don't know if it's the best way to carry it, um, but with the gimbal folded down, it's, it's, it works fine so far. So, all right, let's take a closer look at some of the build quality features. 
All right. Yeah, so here you can see this pocket. It's definitely really beefy um, shoulder straps. They have really good padding, which is good because this pack will definitely, definitely get get quite heavy. Highly adjustable on the sternum straps as well. And here you can see uh, the top loader attached on the hip belt. Yeah, so I always store uh, either my phone or an external battery bank um, in this uh, West Slope case. It's air insulated with aerogel and keep anything with a lithium ion battery um, fully charged up in temperatures as low as minus 40. Uh, so definitely something really good if you're a content creator and you are out in the cold a lot. Um, this is a great little add-on for you. All right, and uh, there you have it. That is my brief overview of the uh, Shimoda Designs Action X30. Um, this is my first video that we're filming on the new uh, Fuji X-T4. So hopefully it looks better than everything else that I've done shot on my cell phone. Um, yeah, so if you like the, re the review, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also go ahead and check out my business, Cold Case Gear. Thank you.